Academy's inaugural commencement ceremony. Today is a day for recognition and celebration. Our graduates are closing a chapter in their lives and beginning anew. They have accomplished many things throughout this journey. They deserve to enjoy every moment of this commencement. To the parents and guardians, we know you have been anticipating this moment for what seems like an eternity. Thank you for entrusting your child's education to us. We appreciate your support and cooperation. Job well done to each of you. It is with great pleasure that I present our participants. I ask that you hold your applause until each individual has been introduced. Each stage participant is asked to stand as his or her name is called and to remain standing until everyone is called. Beginning on my far left, first row, the Honorable Kristen Larson, with greetings from the Richmond Public School School Board. Dr. Dana Bett, Superintendent for Richmond City Public School. Beginning on my far left, second row, Ms. Candace Hunter, Chief of Staff. Dr. Michelle Boyd, Executive Director of Exceptional Education and Student Services. Dr. Anthony Leonard, Executive Director of Elementary Schools. Mr. Abe Jeffers, Executive Director of Secondary Schools. And Mrs. Andrea Kane, Associate Superintendent of Academic Services. On my right is John Eisenberg, Assistant Superintendent of Special Education and Student Services with Virginia Department of Education. Christine Muse, teacher at the Academy, and Joe Randolph, teacher at the Academy. Thank you. 
pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Matt Eisenberg. Mr. Eisenberg is the Assistant Superintendent of Special Education and Student Services at the Virginia Department of Education. We're very excited to have him here as our commencement speaker at our very first graduation because of his constant support for our school and for our mission. Mr. Eisenberg was involved in every aspect of the creation of our school, from the curriculum to the class structure, staffing, funding, um, acquiring new technology, and furthermore, his experience over the last 20 years shows a dedication to the improvement of educational services for students with disabilities, starting with his positions at the beginning of his career as a special educator and a vocational coordinator, <clears throat> and continuing to his role today with the Virginia Department of Education. On a personal note, I've been a special education teacher for 12 years, and prior to coming to the academy, it was clear to me that the functional life and academic skills were so critical for student success after high school. Teaching at a school that is focused on these skills has been extremely rewarding, and for that, I am personally thankful for Mr. Eisenberg's commitment to the academy. Please help me welcome John Eisenberg. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. This is a day of celebration and excitement and looking forward to the future. And I have a couple thank yous that I wanted to say, but to you graduates, I wanted to tell you how proud I am of you and look around the room at all these proud faces. You have done some amazing <coughs> things over the past four years and you should be very, very proud. So let's give these guys a round of applause. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that we're four years down the line and that we have our first set of graduates. Four years ago seems a lifetime ago. I'm sure it was for you guys when you started your program. A lot of people don't know how the program got started, and I thought I'd just share that, that history a little bit. Four years ago, I got a call from the governor uh, at the time who said, hey, Department of Education, we want to see some more charter schools in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we said, no problem. We can do that. It takes a couple of years to get these things going, but we'll be happy to help you out. And he said, oh, no, not a couple of years. I want one open in six months. And we freaked out a little bit, um, and we scrambled and we're looking for some partners and we thought about some really critical areas in the commonwealth that needed support and one was how do we improve outcomes for youngsters with disabilities to make sure when they graduate high school they've got the skills they need to go on to the world of work to go on to college to have a successful opportunity to be in their communities to have friends, to have relationships, to be a critical part of the Richmond community and the surrounding Richmond area. And we looked for partners and we came right away to Richmond City Public Schools. And Richmond City Public Schools embraced this concept and with the help of a lot of members that are present here today, including Dr. Benton, the school board, Dr. Michelle Boyd, parents, more especially with the leadership of Maurice Burke, who has been the principal over the last four years. It has been your leadership, Maurice, that you've been able to get this program to where it is now. And it's something that we all are very proud of. This academy and this program has been crucial in the lives of these young uh, gentlemen. Uh, we hope that the curriculum and the experiences that you've had will prepare you for the next phase of life, which is the most hardest part of life, being an adult, right? Mm -hmm. Learning how to pay bills, learning how to go to work, learning how to live independently. I wish college and all the other things I learned in life would have prepared me for those things. But what you learn is absolutely those skills to prepare you for that real world. And I am looking forward to seeing what you're gonna be able to do when you leave this program. You have demonstrated that you've been able to achieve and rise to the highest levels of achievement. We have pushed you to do things that you probably didn't think you were capable of doing, but you showed us you were. You have demonstrated outstanding leadership. You are going to make this community very proud, and you have made your families very proud. You are taking on a huge step in the next couple months, and we hope that you have been prepared for that big step. We are gonna be behind you as a community. We are excited for your next phase of life. And we're in spring, and spring is now the time when we celebrate new life and new growth and have an opportunity to enjoy the fruits of our labors. 
And what we're hoping to see is you guys really move on to that next step of life and really take life by the horns. The future is bright for you. This program has been so unique and so innovative. I think you guys are going to be super successful. And from talking to your teachers and to Maurice and to the staff, I know that's going to be true. We are going to be here to support you no matter what. And families, you guys have really helped support us and support this program. And you should be very, very proud of the accomplishments that these three graduates have made. So I just want to thank everybody for their opportunity to be here today, but also to support this innovative program. We're looking for, uh, hopefully this program will continue. I am excited to continue to support the program and to support Richmond City Public Schools and our partnership with VCU and the partnership with the business community here in the Richmond surrounding area. I'm looking forward to next year's graduates. But before we move on, if I could just shake all your hands and say congratulations and just say thank you for all your hard work, graduates. I am, again, super proud of you. We are all super proud of you. And I know you're going to go on to do great things. Congratulations. Dana Benton. As principal of Richmond Career Education and Employment Academy, I certify that Richmond Career Education and Employment Academy's class of 2016 has met the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the State Board of Education of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the School Board of the City of Richmond. Thank you, uh, Principal Burton. On behalf of the administration, City of Richmond, standing in representation of the school board, I want to congratulate each and every one of you all for successfully meeting and completing the requirements to be declared graduates of the Richmond City Public Schools and meeting the standards of the Virginia, uh, Commonwealth of Virginia. I also want to extend to you my gratitude for being the first. Not only the first from your current school, but you're the first to kick off the graduation season this year. <laughs>
Arthur Hayes Montgomery.